U.S. Department of Energy Richland Operations Office and contractor CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company have developed technology to remove highly radioactive material away from the Columbia River at the Hanford site. The 105K West Reactor and 105K West Basin are just 400 yards from the Columbia River. Inside the basin, highly radioactive material called sludge is currently being stored. Sludge consists of sand, dirt, uranium fuel corrosion products, and other material that accumulated from decades of operation as a reactor fuel storage basin. Workers on the sludge removal project have been preparing to relocate this sludge away from the river. They have designed and installed equipment specifically engineered to remove the sludge from the basin and transfer it to a newly constructed 105K West Annex. Workers begin the sludge removal process with an empty Sludge Transport and Storage Container, or STSC. The STSC arrives on a tractor trailer inside a shielded shipping cask. The trailer is backed into the annex and the STSC is prepared for loading. Sludge is pumped from the basin to the annex through underwater hoses and shielded transfer lines which protect workers from radiation. A major part of the project's success was the use of a replica of the basin systems which provided a fully functional mock-up in an uncontaminated environment. Experts designed, engineered, and tested all equipment to ensure it worked as designed before deployment into the 105K West facility. Operators also used the mock-up to develop procedures, conduct training, and gain valuable experience in a safe environment without the complexity of performing work inside a radiologically contaminated facility. Approximately 27 cubic meters of highly radioactive sludge will be retrieved from six underwater containers located in the basin. To begin sludge retrieval, operators lower the Zago retrieval tool into an engineered container. The sludge slurry passes through underwater hoses and components through a shielded hose chase and then to the annex. Inside the annex, the slurry passes through additional transfer components on its way to an STSC. The STSC is inside a shipping cask during loading and shipment to protect workers and the environment from the radiological material. After the STSC is filled with a slurry of sludge and water, the sludge is allowed to settle before excess water is decanted, filtered, and returned to the basin. When the final sludge and water levels are achieved, hoses are removed and vents are installed to maintain proper pressure during transport. The transport cask lid is installed and final shipment preparations are made. Workers transport the STSC a total of 12 miles from the annex to tea plant, an existing nuclear facility once used to process plutonium in the 1940s, which is located on the central plateau of the Hanford site. T plant was modified to safely store and monitor STSCs in underground cells. The tractor trailer is backed into the T plant tunnel where the cask lid is removed and the STSC is vented and purged for safe configuration. The STSC is placed into a designated storage cell which is equipped with secondary containment, cell ventilation, and leak detection capability. Each 5-foot diameter, 10-foot tall, stainless steel STSC was specifically designed to safely store sludge at tea plant. A new empty STSC is then loaded into the cask and transported to the annex to start the next sludge removal evolution. It is expected that 18 to 24 STSCs will be required to safely remove the sludge from the 105K West Basin. Once sludge removal is complete, the basin will be demolished and the underlying contaminated soil removed. The remaining 105K West reactor will then be placed in interim safe storage to ensure the protection of the Columbia River.